Jude fucking Bellingham. Are you kidding me? He is the man to watch. A god. Legends. You guys want to call him a tap-in merchant? Shut up. Fuck Javi. <laughs> That means we are here with Alejandro, Raul, Tim, Chanel. That means we are here with. Dude, I'm so excited I forgot my name. What is it again? <laughs> Mr. Ancelotti is still out. Don't let this distract you from the fact that I'm still Mr. Ancelotti out. ¿Viste el partido? Sí. ¿Sí? ¿Qué te pareció? La primera parte, la verdad, que mal, pero el Barça se baja al nivel y estaba Jules Bellingham, como siempre, salvando. Espectacular, la verdad. ¿Sí? Después de Cristiano, un antes, un después. It was crazy. Crazy yeah. game. I think the game changer was Camavinga, to be honest, because when he came in, the game changed. He's quicker, he gets more dynamic. And before that, we couldn't get through Barça's defense. That defense was really good yeah, to be honest the only chance we got were like crosses and then two came in clutch again as always legends first half was not not so good but second half they uh, did very good especially bellingham it's a key player for uh, real madrid yeah. i think they can achieve uh, great things i thought we were shit for the first probably hour of the game i thought we couldn't break their press we couldn't press them effectively at all and they would break through our press tactically i think that we were inferior but then camavinga does what camavinga does comes into the game changes the game controls the entire game and jude bellingham does what Jude Bellingham does scores from 35 yards out <laughs> like as if nothing man that guy's already a legend the first half we were really struggling they didn't really want it there wasn't passion and honestly I felt like crying it was really frustrating to watch as a Real Madrid fan but second half came I could see we were slowly improving and that goal from Bellingham oh it was he took the words out of my mouth to be honest like I don't even know what to yeah describing that moment is it's ineffable man you can't really put it into words the fact that it's his first classical and he does that that stunner just changed the entire game. It put the entire Barca stadium upside down. What do you think of Jude Bellingham? Oh, I think he's the best player in the world. Jude Bellingham, man. I mean, ever since he came, we always knew he was going to be good. But oh my gosh. How often does a player on their first class go do something like that? Never. He's just something else, man. He knew number five. Uh, he's crazy, man. He's 20 years old, I think. But uh, he's, he's great, man. He, he is the big talent of Europe. He's the man to watch. A god. An absolute god. We've been saying it. I'm saying it now. And I will continue to say it. He is a god. Anyone who calls him overrated, just don't watch the sport anymore. This sport's not for you. Saki said two, three videos ago, go play tennis, go watch golf, go do something else, but don't watch this sport because it's not for you. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This was it's just too good to be true. Like, you think he's already a legend? What else is there to say, bro? Like, there's nothing else to say. We say it till we're blue in the fucking face, bro. I don't know how he does it, how he continues to do it. I just hope that he continues to do it yeah. because without him, we are fucking cooked. There's been a lot of talk about Bellingham being overrated. Talk about that. How about that? Is that a tap -in? Was that a tap -in, that first goal? You guys want to call him a tapping merchant shut up bro so you're a little bit famous because uh, you're the guy that said that you weren't sure whether jude bellingham was a real yeah. thing think bellingham was overrated <laughs> how do you feel about jude bellingham now because honestly dude that was insane honestly i have to say in the first half he was ghosting a bit his passes weren't that good he didn't do any dribblings but that guy just starts in the last half an hour and he just comes in clutch all the time and if he scores the goals even if he doesn't play the best game he scores twice he gives us the w so he's a legend do you now think that he's the best midfield in the world. Right now, in his form, for sure. Let's see the Champions League season, how like clutch is getting in the knockout stages. But right now, there's nobody better in form. Do you think he's the best in the world now? Right now, in the current football, I would say yes. Yeah. Who else? Exactly. That's a hard question, man. But uh, he, he, he can be great. He can be the greatest of, uh, of this area. He has a lot of years to grow. And uh, I think if he is now at this level, he can uh, achieve great things. Aside from Madrid, Xavi. We have to talk about Xavi. Because oh. Xavi talks a lot of smack. He talks about this Tiki Taka style, this Barca style, that he never actually represents. Because his style of play is very counter-attack. It's very cholo like Do you have a message for Xavi? Oh, I have a message for Xavi. I actually have two. One in Spanish, one in English. In Spanish, it's a tomar por I don't want to disrespect him, like, he's a legend of the game. I think he's a good coach, but zero points today. Well, you know, I respect him as much as I want to hate him. He's a legend to the game, but at the same time, where was Xavi today? I mean, you spoke to them, and they shit themselves. I think they'll compete, but I think Real Madrid will, will win the league. I would say that what happened when they hit the Vinicius. He said that it was a caricia, but his style, I think, is not good for the actual football. The truth is, the football has changed, and his style is like before, and the football is not that. Do you think he's a good trainer? Well, he is, but he should be able to do it. Do you have a message for Chavi? Oh, I have a message for Chavi. I actually have two. One in Spanish, one in English. In English, it's know your role and shut your fucking mouth, jabroni. Know your role and shut your mouth, you jabroni. Fuck Chavi. <laughs>